again we bear witness there is no God but one, there is no God with him, there is no God besides him, there is no God equal to him, there is no God greater than him. We thank him for being the one, true living God, true sender and teacher of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. We thank him for his divine knowledge that he revealed to his servants and opened up their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. To all of our viewers, we're grateful as always to come back to you again, to you that are watching internationally, to all of our brothers and sisters, desire to be in the house of God once again. It is our objective our commitment to call your attention to what's written in the book of scriptures. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. What is holiness? Holiness is the intelligence of God. That's right. Wonderful. It's God's intelligence. God related his divine will, his thoughts, his standard, mm -hmm. his statutes, right. his rules, right. his regulations, mm -hmm. his doctrine, revealed it to his servant, the prophets, yes. and then moved on them to write it and leave it on record for our learning. That's right. Holiness is when the people reflect the characteristics of God. That's right. And in order to reflect God's character, you got to be among God's word That's so right. you can take on God's nature. That's right. Huh? That's right. You see, when you take on God's nature, you, before you can take on his nature, mm -hmm. you got to be exposed to it. That's right. yeah. I love this stuff. Well, That's, right. Amen. That's right. God is holy. Right. Yes, yes. Holiness. God is holy. That's why he's called Holy Spirit. That's right. right. Take your time. He's not just called Spirit. No. Spirit got to have a character. That's, That's right. right. That's, right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Spirit got to have a character. That's right. It's like Satan is called Wicked Spirit. That's right. right. Evil Spirit. That's Holy Ghost. Yes. Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit. John said mm. God is a is spirit. A spirit. spirit.
In thy mouth. He's right there in your mouth. That's right. Someone say, I don't, I don't feel it. Believe it. Believe it. <laughs> Believe it brings about mouth activation. <laughs> That's right. Do you understand? That's right. He testified. That's right. I said he testified. But what saith it? What you say? The word is nigh thee. Where at? In thy mouth. In thy mouth. The Spirit of God is right there in your mouth. And in thy heart. And is in your heart. That is the word of faith. It takes belief to activate what's there. Which we preach. He's right there, ready to fill you. Mm. Hallelujah. Ready to thank God to move on you. That's right. That's right. He just wants you to believe him. That's it. When you talk to God, don't push him far off. No. Oh, Lord, up in heaven, don't just leave him there. He's everywhere.
Titus chapter 1 and verse 16. What is that? They profess that they know God. They claim that they know God. Oh, they profess they know the Lord. But in works. What? In works. They works. They deny him. They reject them. Being abominable. Wait a minute. How are they? Being abominable. They are abominable. And disobedient. I told you. Disobedient. That's many of you watching. That's why you cuss the program out. That's right. Many of you preachers cuss me out, call me a son of a so and so and a MF and got so and so and all that. That's I right. see you right in the Word of God. That's right. Amen. And I'm not moved. In fact, I, when I read about you in the Bible, it gives me joy unspeakable and full of glory. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and that's the way some of you that hang around First Church of the Lord Jesus Preach Christ, it, some of you are the same way. They profess that they know God. You profess that they know God. Yeah, I want to profess a good profession. That's right. Before many witnesses. That's right. They profess that they know God. But in work. But when it come time for work, they deny him. They deny him. Being abominable. And look at him. That's right. They are abominable and disobedient. They are hard head and unto every good and work. And when it come to doing good, reprobate. They won't give in. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Come to doing God. That's right. Reprobate. They won't hallelujah. They won't give in. Won't give in to huh? it. That's right. Amen. So if you hear uh, in the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ, let me say this. Mm -hmm. No one should be here looking for special attention from me. No. I ain't thinking about giving none of you special attention. <laughs> That's right. Hey Amen. If you want that, you better go get a husband and go get a boyfriend and go get a girlfriend <laughs> and right. get married or else die and go to hell. That's right. That's and right. The only attention I'm going to give you is what the word of God says. That's it. Heaven or hell. That's it. And if you don't want that, then you might as well pack your bags, go sit in one room. And if somebody come by and say, where are you going? You got your bag packed. Just tell them I'm on my way to hell. <laughs> That's right. While we take this down, Sid, can you set everybody up with some blue crates in both rooms? Oh, you just want to stand, yep, turn that way some. Yep, you just want to just with your neck, bring it forward across the chin up. Yep, just like that. You got it. You're looking right at the camera. Okay. All right. You ready? <laughs> Mr. the camera, are you looking? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bro. Brother, notice the lodge. You looking? I'm sorry. Bro. You looking? You as you're the camera, y'all. 
y'all paying attention to the instructions? <laughs> you said you want me to make you look good, bro. <laughs> Are you ready? He's looking good, bro, guys. I'm trying to keep this ready? on my face. That's looking good, bro. All right. She's on the team. She's here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Malika. All right. That's how we do it. Welcome. You that say there are no apostles now, here's one telling you that all of you or liars. That's right. I don't care who you are. If you say that God took the apostles out the church and there are none no more. No more. All you got to do is come get Pastor Jennings. That's right. You don't need no moderator. Let the Bible meeting be your moderator. Just walk in on me with the scripture that says God took him out. That's right. That's all I want. And let's make it more interesting. If you prove it, you can have all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ and all the church assets and all the church bank accounts. And if I prove that they're in the church, you got to give me everything you have. And you got to step out the pulpit, never step in it again, come at the altar and tarry for the Holy Ghost and don't ever leave it until you receive it. I don't care if you, if you don't eat. You preachers do all this mouthing to your congregation. I'm not a closet champion. No. Not at all. I'm declaring to the world, first in the church. Apostles. Apostles, and God set them there. God had set some. God has set some. In the church. What was it? First apostles. Now, I dare you to show me a half a scripture that God took them out. That's, right. That's all you got to do. That will settle the argument. That's right. You see, these fellas don't want no apostles because the apostles have God giving authority to rebuke and chastise and appoint. And God give the apostle a knowledge to take the Bible apart. That's right. Make it plain. Glory to God and break down the revelation of Scripture. Everybody, huh? <laughs> All right, yep, turn this way, just like that. Yep, and just turn back. Yep, just like that. And then we'll bring just your neck forward across this. So come forward with your neck, like this. There you go, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Feel weird, right? Yep. But trust me, you got it. Nice big smile, <laughs> Mr. Williams, that's it. There you go. <laughs> no, that's the ones. That's he no, helping you. Nobody here, you? <laughs> hey, there you go. Look at that. Yeah, that's a small. I like it. I like it. All right, script. He got it. Ch chin down a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Like a movie star. There you go. We got it. One minute to see him. Yeah. Yeah. smile. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Your smile is great, bro. Yeah. 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 We got you with a good smile. Okay. Look at that. That's better. That's better? You like that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who else we got? We got everybody? Alright, ready? <laughs> you stuff together. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not smiling. You ready, my brother? <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze my eyes. A squinching eyes is good! <laughs> you think? Yeah, man, look at that shot, man, look at that! See, really? <laughs> That's looking good, trust me. That's looking good. It's trust me. You're good, man. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. A lot of them didn't smile, though. <laughs> That's how we are. That's how we do it. All right, I gotta get back to the hotel. I gotta get my suit on, and uh, make it back. All right, so I'm gonna leave this stuff this here. So you don't send me JPEG one two three. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. You numbered them, right? Yes, I did. Okay, right. Just yeah. take me, Sister Bailey, and whoever else you took. Just take us out to the supermarket, you. and you'll be fine. You. You, you can tell us a part easy. We're the women. You got it, my sister. You got it. <laughs> All right, take us up off the floor. <laughs> All right, my sister. 
That's why these fellas want to ban the apostles out the Bible, but they want to keep bishops in. Yeah. No apostles, but bishops are in. That's right. No apostles, but pastors are in. Yeah. No apostles, but elders are in. Yeah. The Bible told us what all of these offices are placed in the church for. Let me quickly. And he gave some apostles. Ron, turn me up real good now. Turn me up now. Amen. I want to, I want to, like an earthquake out there. Yeah. Amen. Lord to God, I want to quake the auditorium with Bible. That's right. Listen at this. And he gave some apostles. Some apostles. And some prophets. Prophets. And some evangelists. Evangelists. And some pastors. Pastors. And teachers. Now hold it. An apostle is God called, God sent, God anointed, God made, God appointed, God taught, God revealed himself to him. He's God taught. That's right. You may say to be an apostle, you have to witness Jesus' resurrection. Ain't no Bible said that. That's your lying mouth. Right. And if that's the truth, why wasn't Paul there? That's right. When Jesus rose. All right. And he gave some apostles. Not everybody. And some prophets. Not everybody. And some evangelists. Not everybody. And some pastors. Not everybody. And teachers. And teachers. For the perfecting of the saints. Wait a minute. He gave some these offices for what reason? For the perfecting of the saints. For the completion of the development of the church. For the work of the ministry. For what reason? For the work of the ministry. For the work. Amen. Now, please tell me, when did one of these offices expire right. and that work no longer exists? That's right. And if you don't receive the Holy Ghost that day, that's when you talk, I'm coming back. But when I pursue the Holy Ghost for starts, I am not seeking going after it with the eye coming back mine. Right. When I pursue him, I'm pursuing him out of want right now. That's right. Let them scream, holler, spit, split, roll over, fall out, vomit, respirator, come out the hospital, go back in it again. So we believe in the word Christian. Mm -hmm. That's a person who tried to live after the manner of Jesus. Amen. What we don't believe is a religion called Christianity. That's right. <coughs> you said Jesus came over 2,000 years ago to start Christianity. Mm -hmm. Jesus never told you that. Christianity is not the religion of the prophets, it is not the religion of Jesus, nor is it the religion of the apostles. That's right. The prophets told you what they were, they were holy prophets. Holy prophets. That's right. Jesus was a holy prophet and a holy apostle. That's right. Well, he was both. Both. He brought the law to an end. Mm -hmm. And he introduced grace and truth. 
That's right. So, what is our religion? Holiness. Holiness. Right. When did it begin? Never had a beginning. That's right. You can't trace no man and credit him right. to be the founder of this religion. Amen. No prophet was worthy to start a religion. That's Amen. right. No apostle is qualified right. to start a religion. Amen. It is written, according to as God hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. Yes. That is our religion. That's right. The foundation of it is plain and simple. Amen. We bear witness. There is no God, but how many? One. One. There's none with him. There's none besides him. Amen. There shall be none after him. Amen. Besides him, there is no God. as he chooses. He's the breaker of man and the builder of man.
get your authority from to get all day. This is church. This ain't no game. This is people's souls you're dealing with. This is church. This is not a game. Go ahead. scriptures is a mirror yeah. and you must accept what you see about yourself self honesty be brutally honest with yourself you must call a spade a spade even when it hurts your character and hurts yourself That's right. listen Jude chapter 1 and at verse 8 let's get our dreams likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh Read on. Despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. Yet filthy, my, filthy, dreamers. filthy dreamers. They do what? Defile the flesh. Defile. That's why if you ever have a, is that quiet again? <laughs> if you ever have a filthy, dirty dream. You ever had a dream, somebody woke you up, and you got angry with them? You know, because they cut that dream off too short. And you're like, what you waking me up for? And you literally laid down to try to pick your dream back up like a movie. <laughs> you laid back down and try to start that thing over. Turn. You hate the sun came up. You put the colors over your head, squinching your eyes. And all the time, could have been fornicating, committing adultery or doing the things in your dream that you're not doing now, like smoking, smoking weed, gambling, snorting cocaine, even though it's a dream. If the book said the wages of sin is death, a dream is dangerous because you can be lowered into the actual physical act That's right. through the dream. That's right. So sometimes a dream is an invitation to do what you've never done or to go back and do what God brought you out from or to hold on to what you're trying to let go and presently struggling with. That's right. Are you listening? Likewise, also these filthy dreamers. You know, you got to get some good stuff out there while you eat, man. You got to praise the Lord and eat. I ain't fasting today. I ain't going to cut. <laughs>
the temple up here in the uh, main sanctuary will be dedicated to them. Pastor Jennings, in your prayers, his family, I want to pray for the brothers that labor along with him and their families. I want to continue to pray for the sick, the shut in, the youth department, as always. I want to pray for one another. I uh, want to thank God for one of our brothers last night, Brother Dave Owen, oh, received the Holy Ghost. Crucified with Christ. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Hold it. Being crucified and being alive at the same time. Yeah. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? The church has to be the living dead. That's right. Living for God, but yet dead to sin. That's right. For the ye are dead. dead. The Bible says. In Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3. Ye are dead. And your life. And your living. Is his. Is his. With Christ. With Christ. In God. All right. So now God not only wants you dead. When you hide something, you bury it, you cover it. That's right. So God wants you dead and covered by him. <laughs> That's right. Do you hear? For ye are dead. He wants you dead. And your life is dead. And he hid. wants your life to be hid, covered. With, with Christ. With Christ. In God. In God. That's right. And in order for you to be dead, you got to have a murderer for a preacher. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> in order for you to be dead, you got to have a hired hit man. Uh, that's right. For a preacher. That's right. Amen. God, hallelujah. Bless God. God has sent you a hit man. Yeah. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. You'll find that in 2 Kings, Kings, the ninth chapter. Yeah. I don't have time to get into all of it now, but when you get some time, you read about the hit man. His name was Jehu. Amen. In the ninth chapter of 2 Kings and the tenth chapter of 2 Kings. Yeah. Well, I want to fulfill God's will. And the only place I want to go on is in the kingdom of God. Yes. That's it. That's it. Amen. Come That's on, William. I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. So uh, we are sent to murder you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm a Holy Ghost filled, holiness hit man preacher. That's right. And that's why many of you folk is crying out now. I ain't never seen no one laugh when they get shot. No. Amen. And we over the air just shooting you. That's why you write me, cussing me out. Put your thumbs down because the Bible says this. They shall be shot and wounded. wounded. Amen. That's why some folk even follow me, get mad. <laughs> Amen. The word shot them. It done harpooned them. <laughs> huh? Harpooned them. <laughs> Amen. Been shot. Glory to God. They folly is obliterated. <laughs> Splattered right. everywhere. Splattered. That's right. Amen. I can't help but God put my finger on the trigger. <laughs> Amen. And, and I ain't taking it off and, until God take it off. That's right. Amen. I know you're gonna wake, I'm gonna, if you wake me up, I'm going to wake up shooting. Yes, you do. Huh? That's right. Wake up shooting with the Bible. That's right. I remember we was out of town somewhere. I forgot, but <laughs> me, Williams, Huey, and Shade, you know, them three get together and root each other on uh, and, and, and up the mischief, you know, and and trying and they love to try to challenge me with the Bible, which I don't mind. Really? But Williams and Hugh, no Huey and Shade, very mischievous. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they boost Williams up. Yes, they right. tell Williams, Williams, listen, they they take a scripture and dump the Williams and say, listen, Williams, listen, Williams, we got them. We got them now. <laughs> Yeah, they, 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 that, and we and we have to say, well, why don't y'all take it to them? Then they'll be like, well, look, we may not word it right, but <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So once they encourage Elder Wim, <laughs> Amen. All three of them, I was sound asleep, yes, man. You were. And they come banging on my door <laughs> like they housekeeping. That's right, that's right. I mean, you ever wake up so quick you have a headache? I mean, they was banging <laughs> ruthless, and I opened my door and all three of them standing there. And Huey come telling me, wake up. <laughs> That's right. Wake up. Yes, Amen. Indeed. And then Huey said, we're going to stop your mouth this morning. That's right. We're going to stop your mouth this morning. <laughs> uh, you know, Huey, he talked that smack, you know. <laughs> One thing, then he had the nerve to say, we're going to beat the britches off of you. <laughs> I said, really? I said, all right. <laughs> I said, all right, y'all get seated. I'm rubbing my eyes, trying to wake up. That's right. I'm trying to. When, 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 and Shade told William, get, get such a, they actually wrote the scriptures down. <laughs> Kay said, William, get such and such and such a scripture. William read that scripture, and I was half asleep and stretched. Yes, 
Amen. And William said, what you going to do with that? Why, what would you ask me that for? <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I, I, I was still rubbing the cold out my eyes. But when he asked me that, right. we unleashed. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> huh? We were in God. <laughs> you understand? Amen. We unleashed. That's right. Right out of sleep. Amen. I, 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 right, right out, out of, of sleep. sleep. I'm still rubbing my eyes. That's right.
Peter uh, began to preach the word of God with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. And while Peter was yet speaking the words of God, the Holy Ghost God fell on all them, fell on all them which, heard the word. which heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed, they that were, astonished, which believed were astonished, as many as came with even Peter. Even those that came with Peter. Because that on the Gentiles that on also the other ethnic groups was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. They received Ghost. the Holy Ghost. And how did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues. How did they know they had the Holy Ghost? They heard them speak with tongues. How did they know they had the Holy Ghost? They heard them speak with tongues. And what else did they do? And magnify God. And then answer Peter. Can any man forbid water and what? that these should not be baptized, right. which have received the Holy Ghost what? as well as we? And what did Peter command them? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. All right, now, you mentioned about having an interpreter. Let's go to the book of Corinthians, if you will. First Corinthians chapter 14, we'll begin at verse 3. Real quick. But he, but he that prophesied, so right, verse 2. All right. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto me. Three words I want to call your attention to in the book of scriptures. That's right, sir. Unknown tongue, new tongue, other tongue. That's, That's right. right. They are the same thing. All the same That's right. Thing. Unknown tongue. When you receive the Holy Ghost, it'll be unknown to you unless you got an interpreter. You don't understand the language that you're speaking, but therefore you edify yourself. That's right. right. When you have an interpreter, then the message is to edify the entire church That's or right. those that surround. Amen. New tongue is new to you because you never spoke before. Another time, because it'll be different from your native tongue, your everyday language. That's right. Listen. For he
that speaketh in an unknown tongue and speaketh not unto men but unto God. Somebody say, well, wait a minute. The one on the day of Pentecost, the people heard them speaking their native tongue. But yes, it still was another tongue because the one that was actually speaking it, it wasn't their native language. That's right. right. So it was another tongue to them. Another That's right. They didn't see that. That's right. <laughs> and it was a new tongue because they never spoke before. Never spoke. And there was another tongue because that was not their regular language. That's, That's right. right. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's Next. get back to that. For he yeah. that speaketh in an unknown tongue you know what? speaketh not unto men. Hold it! Go ahead. The reason why you're not speaking unto men but unto God, to so God. tell me. Why is it that these preachers can control your Holy Ghost? That's right. That's right. Anytime a preacher can That's count right. down to three or count down to four or count down to five like oh, you're God. a rocket ship about to blast off. That's and right. And then tell you the Lord's going to pass by when I count to three, going to speak in tongue. One, two, three, yabba dabba do. What you going to do? You start speaking this stuff. That's Amen. Right. <laughs> no, it ain't happening like that. No, no. That's not the moving on the Lord. That's uh, just you. That's right. Are you listening? Come Amen. on. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, uh -huh. but unto God. What? For no man understandeth him. How be it? In the spirit. How be it? Where? In the spirit. Where? In the spirit. How is he talking? He in the spirit. How is he talking? In the spirit, in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. You see, no man understand him. See, you say they're babbling. But no man understand him. Only in the spirit right. he's speaking a mystery. A mystery is something everybody don't know. Right. Now let me break this down and make it further. Mm -hmm. Speaking in tongue is not just when someone receives the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue uh, no. uh, <laughs> as the evidence of the Holy Ghost. That's but right. this right here, the book of scripture, thanks be unto God, is tongue. the book of tongues. That's right. Because it's the book of language. Right. It is an unknown tongue. It is unknown to those that are ignorant of the contents of the book. That's right. It is a new tongue because if you don't understand and the first time you hear it, it's new to you. Right. It is another tongue because it's different from every false religion out here. That's, That's right. right. That's right. So now, in order to understand the intelligence of God, or the language of God, or the characteristics of God, right. God must identify you with Him. That's yeah. it. He's already identified with you because He made you. That's right. But now He must get you acquainted with Him. Yeah. And the way He do that, He endow you with revelation right. and knowledge. He don't give it to you all at one time. He no. give it to you line upon line, right. precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. You begin to well, grow as God begin to nurture and water well, your intelligence with the ahead, knowledge brother. of Himself. Go ahead, brother. Then you That's give right. it to Him, Go ahead. I said you begin to grow as God begin to water you and nurture you with the intelligence of himself. That's, right. That's why the spirit of the Lord will come upon you. Right. It will rest upon you, then get in you. That's right. And then take your kernel mind and move it from carnality and give you some immortal thoughts. That's right. Huh? That's, That's right. right. Give you some thoughts about the spirit of the most high. That's right. And then when the spirit of the most high get in your mind, he'll give you a better revelation of yourself. That's Go right. ahead. Taste so. God. That's, That's why God. the Bible says the things of God, no, no man know. know. That's, That's right. right. The things of God, no, no man. man know. Save but the spirit. Spirit. Spirit, the of God. spirit of God. That's Amen. right. So now man got to identify with the spirit of God. That's right. And then the spirit of God will bring man to the knowledge of himself. That's Amen. it. Mm -hmm. Come He's, on. Come on. That I, I hope you can get that. Excellent. Amen. Excellent. If you can't, pause it, rewind it, give me a slow motion. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, keep striving the way of holiness. That's right. That's right. Go get you some chicken. Yeah. 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 Cast out everything and anything that is in them. That's when you to your will. Satan, we bind you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of him. Come out of him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Free. Ever 
everlasting God deliver in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, set him free. Free him. Deliver him. Thank God in the name. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm out of him. Thank God. Jesus Christ. Take him to his seat. After you spoke in tongue and after you shout, I want to paint a realistic picture of this holy way of God. Oh, yeah. If you walk around and think serving God is walking around grinning and smiling like you in the Cub Scouts or Girl Scouts <laughs> or right. Wee Blows, you's a fool. That's a fool. You's so when these preachers like T.D. Snakes and Creflo O'Penny tell you Satan don't have no power, you done lost your mind. That's a lie. If he didn't have no power, how could he cause war in heaven? And a whole third of the angels took sides with Satan yeah. and backslid and joined him to have war in heaven. That's right. Satan got plenty of power. Oh, yeah. I heard one preacher say to the people, God, Satan don't have no power unless you believe it. Listen, if your house on fire, you ain't got to believe it's burning. That's right. If your house is on fire, you want to stay there and don't believe it's burning like a fool, go ahead. Go ahead. Won't be for long when you're done coughing and gagging, you will run out of there and admit the house is burning. That's right. The devil got plenty of power. Don't you feel him? Oh, yes. Don't he bother you? Oh, yeah. The part of the human body that Satan bothered the most is not your flesh. Yeah. He bothered the mind, mind because the flesh take a break and rest. But sometimes Satan dive into your subconscious mind even when you sleep. And yeah. next thing you know, you commit adultery in your sleep. You, sleep. you meet a man you ain't never met in your life. You met a woman or women. That's right. Scripture things happen in the truth of God. That's all. That's all. This is strong. This Scripture is strong. things coming around. Especially in the truth of God. So, I mean, this is real. Real life. Authentic. Real life, real devils, real God. Nothing fake, nothing added. Real apostle, real teaching, real ex sinners. It's okay, so, bro. What's up, man? How was your experience? We got, we got, we got our tickets worth, understand? Tickets worth. <laughs> you know, the Lord moved <laughs> in how my much way. Got to stay up. You understand me? Uh, the Lord is doing great things, and it just goes to show you, man, that you all you gotta pray. You know, we thank God for the apostles. We thank God for the pastor. You know, I, I, I'm really doing this the prophets, the prophets of old. You know, so yeah, we gonna praise them anyhow. This is the way to bring it. Praise God. We praise God. 2024 came in with the. Hallelujah. It's going to be a heavy Big bang. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And a praise God. Going in with an amen. Yeah, man. Yeah. Really tonight, tonight you definitely learned the definition of on one accord and all being soldiers in the army of the Lord tonight. You definitely learned that. Right. I'm a soldier in the like. army of the Lord. <laughs> My bad. My bad, bro. Always keep the Lord close, Lord Jesus close, and never give up no matter what. Just hang on to that string. Even if it's a Small string, tight string, you just hold on to it. Yeah. Never let go. Always keep the Lord close. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot going on, man. Why well, you gotta stay close to God? Get as close to God as you can. That's yeah. what I advise everybody. ASAP. Don't wait till trouble comes. Amen, bro. Stay close to God. Yep. <laughs> Happy man, what's, what, how, how was your day, man? Oh man, my day was wonderful. <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> wonderful, man. You got me holding all these bags. I'm looking real fat right now. Yo. I'm from Jamaica. Yo. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Jamaican. Jamaican. Yeah, Bakayan, you come from. Bakayan. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pressure. Warrior. Mm. Yeah, man. It's a blessed place to be. Do you want to come? You better come and check it out. 
Yeah. 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 Soul. For real. <laughs> Truth or God? What happened? 2023, 2024, New Year's Eve. Heck, you talking about? Yeah. Main auditorium. Yeah. Main auditorium. What yeah. you mean? Next step, next step. Pyramid. What you talking about? 